We don't often get a report like this from CNN. Something that reveals our empire, reveals the U.S. Uh, military destruction, reveals the blood on our hands. The Pentagon lied about this large attack in Afghanistan as the U.S. was leaving, and they've lied again and again and again, and we now have the video to prove their lies. Uh, and, you know, this is one of those things where it's representative of a whole array of things. If the Pentagon is willing to so-called investigate themselves and lie to the American people and to the governmental structure, I mean, they lied to Congress as well, then that shows you what our Pentagon is, what they will do, what they will, how they will behave. So it's important in more ways than just this one attack, the truth about this one attack. So believe it or not, this is from CNN. I'm not going to play the audio of the video because uh, it has bullet sounds in it and uh, and explosions and stuff. And I don't know if that will harm my algorithm. So, uh, so what you're seeing right there is, let me pause it for just a second. What you're seeing is the body cam footage of from U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan, in Kabul. This is where it happened, about 300 yards from Abbey Gate one of the main entrances to the airport. This is at the Kabul airport where they were trying to evacuate people and there were uh, uh, th thousands, uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people in line trying to get out, trying to get U.S. assistance and getting out. Many of them had connection to U.S. forces because when we go into a place like Afghanistan and destroy that uh, country, we also hire a lot of people who are desperate for jobs. So I would imagine that almost everyone in line here probably had some connection to the U.S. military, working as translators, working as food service and all these other things, all these other uh, uh, connections. Maybe they just uh, gave the U.S. military information once. And so they want to see if they can get that flight out of Afghanistan as the Taliban was taking control. Now, there was a big event that happened, and that's what this video shows. Even though this is from CNN, this is the exception that proves the rule. This is what CNN could be doing every day if they actually gave a shit to actually dig in and investigate real stuff and investigate the crimes of the U.S. empire. This is the type of thing they could be doing daily. Instead, you get one report like this every two years. It says, new, new video evidence uncovered by CNN significantly undermines two Pentagon investigations, the latest of which was released last week into an ISIS-K which I don't think ISIS-K existed until a few weeks ago when they decided to blame the Russian concert attack on them. But still, ISIS-K, by, by the way, the U.S. helped create ISIS, suicide attack outside Kabul airport during the American troop withdrawal from Afghanistan in August. The incident was a gruesome coda to America's longest war, leaving 13 U.S. military service members dead and 170 Afghans um, dead. For two years, the U.S military has insisted that that loss of life was caused by the single explosion. As you know, two suicide bombers assessed to have been ISIS fighters detonated in the vicinity of the Abbey Gate at Hamad Karzai International Airport. And that troops who reported coming under fire and returning it were likely confused in the chaotic aftermath, some suffering from the effects of the blast concussion. So the... The Pentagon said that not only was everyone harmed harmed because of the blast, but they also claimed that those soldiers who, who thought they heard gunfire, it's because they were confused after the blast. They didn't actually know whether there was gunfire. The mission was evacuating people. We had to keep that road open. There was not a lot we could change about that situation. Uh, it was the mission, and we executed it. But now, thanks to this leaked or FOIA requested or whatever body cam footage, we know that ultimately, as they continue to show the video, there were 11 episodes of gunfire, uh, probably mostly from U.S. military. Basically, it seems very evident that the, that the U.S. military shot and killed a lot of these people who died. Video captured by, by a Marine's GoPro camera that has not been seen publicly in full shows far more gun, gunfire than the Pentagon has ever admitted. A dozen U.S. military personnel who were on the scene and spoke uh, to the reporters have described the gunfire in detail. One told CNN he heard the first loud gun burst of shooting from the U.S. Marines and near the blast site and said it wasn't onesies and twosies. It was a mass volume of gunfire. 
combined with the new evidence, combined the new evidence challenges the credibility of the two U.S. military investigations and raises serious questions for the Pentagon, which has continued to, to dismiss mounting evidence. And this is representative of how our Pentagon works and how our government works. And this is also the exception that proves the rule in terms of CNN and our media. The Pentagon has had years, two years, to investigate this incident, decide what actually happened, reveal what actually happened. And they have said each time, oh, no, we didn't shoot. We barely shot at all, and we didn't kill anyone. And now we see from video, they shot a lot, and they probably killed a lot. It shows how unaccountable our military is. It also shows how our media, in the rare case that they actually investigate something like this, they actually dig in, it usually comes out years after the moment. Because if it came out soon after, it would generally create far more anger, hatred at our ruling elite, anger and hatred for the, the system that is set up here, for the loss of life and the destruction of, of, of a country, of a people. There'd be a lot more fury if this had happened last week. But instead, this stuff is revealed years later when it's a blip. You know, it's a blip. CNN did one report. Uh, I and a few others talk about it for a few minutes, and it's a blip. It's really like the the polar opposite of what our media should be doing, which is to dive into these reports and reveal the harms of the U.S. empire like as they're happening or within a day of uh, of what's going on. To me, it, it it reveals so much, you know. And uh, again, this is nice to actually see the the, the video footage um, as it goes on. You'll see they're counting up the number of gunshot episodes uh, so far in the footage. It's at eight episodes of gunshots, at least 36 fired. Uh, then let's see, now we're at 10 episodes of gunshots, 43 fired, uh, ultimately 11, uh, at, at least 43 shots fired. And these are just the ones that could be heard on the GoPro. So there could have been more that was outside of the audio. To me, this is this is what this is what this is how our media should work, and doesn't. <laughs> how often do you see a report like this from CNN? Something that reveals our empire, reveals the U.S. Uh, military destruction, reveals the blood on our hands. It doesn't exist. This is incredibly rare, and of course they do it two years after the fact.